time a techno game All the glitch are belong to us. Welcome to Time Attack Mode Gaming. Today we're going to be checking out the Nuka Cade. It's the arcade within the Nuka World DLC for Fallout 4. Going to trade in some pre-war money for some tokens at this machine before we go in. I'm going to let the dialogue ride. If you want to skip ahead to the games, you can skip to around... Three minutes and thirty seconds. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example out of Colton. Yeah, who knew water and electricity wouldn't mix? Well, judging from the thirst sapper you picked up, apparently you're not the only one. Age was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. It's not like I had a choice. I don't care why it happened. I'm just glad that it did. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. Uh, sure, why not? This place looks like fun. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> All of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. Careful. You keep patting yourself on the back like that and your arm's gonna break. Give me a break. It's all I've got. Look, let me just explain how all this works. After that, if you're interested in playing, great. If not, then no harm done. Every game in the Nuka Cade still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. Damn it! Ah, I already spent all my tokens on some magic beans. Very funny. Look. Normally, I tell people the only way to get tokens is buying them from me. But seeing as you're the new overboss, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you a few other ways of getting them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave. But they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what. Just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. How about three? Yeah, as a gift to welcome the new overboss. Sure, why not? May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, how about you give me three? Or I'll break one of your legs. All right, don't do anything hasty. No need for violence. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, don't forget to take this with you, boss. Shut up. All right, so first up, we're gonna check out classic shooting the shooting the ducks game, ducks in a row. They offer you a pistol to use and ammo, but it doesn't seem to matter if you use your own gun. I prefer to use my own.
I think I did pretty good. But I only get three tickets. I don't know if you can get more than three tickets. Every game I play, I get three tickets. But I've been finding rolls of tickets. And uh, I will make a video of where I find rolls of tickets. So far, I've found two different rolls of tickets. That's damn water game, man. Three tickets. And you got your whack a mole, whack a menace. To the Red Menace. As you can see, I pretty much suck at this one. Yeah, start to get the hang of it. Then you got basketball. I've played a little basketball around Commonwealth here where they got courts. But I don't think I get a single shot in. I think it gives me a couple if it just hits it hard right there. Which is kind of funny, almost the way an old machine might be triggered by that. I'm just ready for it to be over. I don't know. I don't think I got one in. I think I counted a couple. You can fix these games. That's what he needs to do. Then you got your classic ski ball. And this one I was having a little difficulty with. Tried to just roll it up. That didn't seem to work. Tried throwing it. And I guess that throwing it works. Tried shooting it. Shooting the ball with the gun, making it roll in. Yeah, that's not very effective. Just throw it. Try getting a little running start. Getting it to roll up that way. And that didn't really work. And even when I did get it in there like that, it didn't even roll into the hole, so... You know what? We're gonna cheat. Let's go for the big one here. So, now we're getting somewhere with this game. And I was thinking... You know, I put it in that whatever, how many points I'm getting for that, you know, top corner shot. Might get more than three tickets on this one, right? No. And eventually, balls just drop through the machine. Like right here. Try to drop it in. Yeah, I just drops right into it so 
He needs to fix that one. Three tickets. Now, while you're in here, you're going to want to check out this room and pick up the uh, star core. You're going to be collecting these star cores, so there's one on the weapons bench there. Now we're going to check out the prizes. Let's check out these prizes you can get and how many tickets does it cost to get these prizes. So first you gotta redeem your tickets and then you can spend them. It took me a moment to realize that. So let's check out level five first. You know you want to see level five what's the best prizes you can get and I don't have enough tickets to get any of them I thought I was rolling in the tickets because I picked up a big roll of them so obviously I would be rolling in them if I had a roll but not so so I'm guessing there's many rolls of tickets to be found around Nuka World. Like I said, I've already come across two rolls of like 900 tickets on a roll. So you'll find them around. And that is the Nuka Cade. Now we can go and listen to this guy. He says to play he fixes them. So maybe, maybe he'll fix. But don't worry, I fixed them. Yeah, maybe he'll fix some of the problems that have been going on with the machines that I played with, make them a little better with a patch or something. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 Nuka World videos and plenty of tips and glitches as well.